Hey sweethearts, it's Rowan, and, hmm, my camera looks like it's filming differently. Oh well, uh, well, phone camera, so, <sighs> uh, real quick note, well, it's been a while since I've done, what's it called, some kind of get ready with me sort of thing, of course, um, and, uh, uh, seriously? Uh, not that. Um, and I figured, sure, why not? Now's as good a time as any, especially since it is around that time of the, uh, of the month. No, not that. That's not a thing for me. Um, that, uh, I was going to get you all, uh, checked in on... The, uh, the hair status. And I've got a couple things behind me. I said I was going to put a few things up on the, um, what's it called? Um, the, uh, the Argoth sub. Um, but, uh, but it occurred to me that, you know, I've got a couple things that are probably worth more than... I was just thinking of doing, a, like, a little clothing exchange where, you know, we'd give stuff away for, uh, for free or for, you know, tip jar sort of stuff, but I've got a couple things that are a little bit more valuable. This, definitely no. Uh, this, um, vintage, uh, what is this? Um, this is vintage lip service. This is probably worth a little bit more. I've also got a, an old, uh, retail slut bondage skirt, which is probably never going to fit me again. I suppose it's possible it might, but I don't really wear that style much anymore. And I didn't wear it much to begin with, honestly. I only really got that one because... because why? This is not what I'm doing right now, uh, because, uh, I was working there at the time, and I got it for cheap. So, um, ch -ch 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 -ch. okay, I got some brushes there, more brushes there, rings and things, and, uh, so, um, this would be... Uh, Physician's Formula, Argon Wear, Argon Oil, and it's got some, uh, some sparkle in it. Uh, I use this as a primer for winter weather. It's my go-to primer. And, um, because I've got psoriasis, so I've got patches on my face even where I'm prone to being a little extra dry. And um, and um, so even though it's about 50 degrees right now, last I checked the, um, the temperature, it's still close enough to winter weather. I figure why the hell not? We had that big ass cold snap last week, so might as well. And I've got a concealer palette. So, um, my labrette stud, the, um, the little, uh, cone that JC put on there for me, that, I have no idea where that post with the cone is at. It fell out a couple of weeks ago, and fuck if I know where it went to, where it fell out at. I swept that part of the floor... And I could not find it when I even got down on my hands and knees and went feeling around for it. Um, so, it's quite possible it came out when I was on the bus earlier that day. Um, uh, I am... Ugh. 
I really want to uh, get the 9 o'clock bus tonight, so I'm just doing just enough to look presentable, and uh, ooh, gonna have to get into my trunk to get those boots out, but... And of course that's clapped together already. Oh, so I'm, uh, I've got about 15 minutes to get the rest of my shit together to get the 9 o'clock bus. If I miss the 9 o'clock bus, I'm going to get the 9.30 bus. It's just like, it would be ideal to get the 9 o'clock bus for a couple reasons. So I've got a couple passes for tonight. Um, only thing is, it says like, good for 2018, and it is no longer 2018. If they do not honor it at the door, which is a chance that they won't. Um, but then again, it's not really a, uh, a special event theme tonight. Unlike next week, where it's bondage theme. Even though, usually, next week would be their uh, Valentine's theme, but looks like Smalls is taking care of that for the uh, local uh, Southeast Michigan golf and industrial scene. Um, so then what happens, um, so yeah, like, there's, hopefully they'll honor it, even if I, um, but if I don't, on the good side, I have enough money for cover, but it goes up by $2 at 10, and the, uh, 930 bus won't get me there until... Uh, about 10 after 10. Um, whereas the 9 o'clock bus, if you can do your maths and know how long an hour is, uh, that will get me there at about 9.40-ish. So, 9 o'clock bus, really important. So, um... What was I doing? I was looking for something. Not this. Not this. Yeah, that. Uh, we've got eyebrow gel, and my foundation is the uh, NYX Total Control Liquid. And a drop foundation, it says, and that is my color. It's, I think it's the second to lightest cool tone, so I am quite pale, but not as pale as some people, apparently. So. Yeah, I do tend to go for a na more natural uh, brow shape, day-to-day -day kind of stuff, but, um, going out, I like to do something a little bit more fanciful. What's that? Ooh, that's gotta be cleaned. I really love this color. It's a uh, julep um, orbital eyeshadow in Borealis. Uh, and unfortunately, it looks like it has indeed been discontinued, and I cannot find it on eBay either, so that is not one that I like for this. There we go. So I'm going to try to 
hold, yeah, I'm going to try to hold on to this for special occasions, and I know I just said it's not a quote-unquote special event night for Factory Mondays at Tenetco in downtown Ann Arbor tonight, but uh, it's a night where I want to feel a little bit more special because, and I'm probably going to go a little bit more into this in my upcoming med vlog, uh, let's see, where were my pills at? Probably Wednesday. Um, but, um, but yeah, uh, so, uh, I found out last night, just, there was that cold snap, and I thought, okay, my stepmother should be, you know, 70 years old, and that, and she's had rheumatoid arthritis literally since she was a toddler, so I'm gonna call and check up on her. And the phone number wasn't working, and I was like, okay, this is odd. So I went, and I knew she was on Facebook. And then what happened? I went on her Facebook, and her Facebook had not been updated in, since around September, early October of uh, 2017. So then I decided to do an obituary search. On, uh, on her name. And behold, she did indeed die late October of 2017. And that's a primer, so that goes there. Um, yeah, she did die late October of 2017. And I, uh, I found out from my father's eldest sister, so, or father's eldest daughter, uh, cause his younger daughter, who's, you know, my quote unquote full sister, she, uh, she died, uh, July of 2017. And I want to say August of 2017 was the last I'd spoken to my stepmother. So, I mean, obviously I'm not the closest member of this family. Um, in fact, it sounds like, um, my, um, my eldest surviving half-sister, Ruby, who would be my father's a uh, daughter from his second marriage. Yeah, Norma was his second. Uh, Joette was his first, but she died when they were young. Like, they were married, oh god, <sighs> little under six months. She was five months pregnant, and she got hit by a car. And, um, so yeah, I, uh, uh, so yeah, I found my stepmother's obit. And that is, yeah, so, uh, so yeah, my stepmother knew how to get a hold of me, and so yeah, my stepmother was one of the few members of my family who I liked. And she knew how to get a hold of me, so I'm sure she would have wanted me to know when she passed and not find out by accident on the internet like I ended up doing. Um, mm, I do like Nix's Moscow, but Kat Von D's... Okay, yeah, this is Echo. Um, it's got a slightly richer feel to it. And it dries matte, whereas this is, uh, yeah, this is their soft matte cream, so it's a little, it's not quite as matte, and I want to go really matte tonight. So yeah, I confirmed, um, this morning, oh god, my sister, Ruby, she, uh, I mean, I know technically half-sister, but that's not how my family works. Like, I'm even listed in my stepmother's obituary as one of her children, not stepchildren. So, um, so then what happens? Um, yeah, I, uh, <sighs> so I confirmed with Ruby, um, 
that it was the decision of my stepbrothers not to get a hold of me after my stepmother died. They decided on their own that um, my stepmother did not, you know, deserve the decency of my knowledge of her passing closer to the time it happened than I eventually learned on my own, so... I'm a little pissed off, and... I kind of need to go out tonight, so... So yeah, I kind of need to go out tonight. It's been a while since I've been out. I don't think I've been out since maybe early December. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's do a quick look at my hair before I go and um, change my socks and fetch my boots out of my trunk and haul ass to the bus stop. So. Uh, I want to say about two weeks ago, so just after, actually just before I dyed my hair again, so after I touched up the, just before I touched up the hair dye, I ended up, like, I noticed that this side was, somehow had gotten, like, totally combed out. My guess is I was doing stuff in my sleep. I have, um, I, I do have sleepwalking episodes, which is actually, like, um, a bit of a misnomer. It's, uh, somnambulism, um, it, uh, it actually covers a wide range of sleep activities, so I have a history of somnambulism, so even if I don't always get up and move around, uh, the apartment, like, I will do things in my sleep. I'll sit up and do things. So my guess is I was finger combing this side of my hair while I was sleeping, and so then I just decided... Before I dyed my hair, I was just going to finger comb this side out as well. But as you can see, this is about as far as my hair is um, combing out on its own right now. As you see, this is nowhere near dreadlock caliber. Just doing it on its own and um, letting it fall. We've got some chunks... Uh, this side, it's a little bit more together, but, you know, we don't have these, these ropes. No, we don't, do we? No, it does not at all look like it's going to clump together in locks, does it? But let's go on some more. So, I'm going to, I was supposed to put this back in here. So, I'm going to go, uh, yeah. Okay, my phone says exactly nine, so I've got up to five more minutes and then I've got two minutes to the bus, so I'm going to stick this in get a couple rings now I'll do this, okay <sighs> CK1. I've been wearing that scent since high school when it first came out. So, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I'm gonna go let you go, because I gotta do shit with both hands. Alright, bye-bye! I did miss the 9 o'clock bus. Um, just as I pulled my boots on, uh, it was saying um, the, uh, the four... The, the app I've got, the transit app for my phone, it was saying that it, uh, it what? That it was, like, leaving in one minute. I need at least three to watch this bus stop, so...